Uh, wow. Hey, everybody. Uh, you are probably thinking, how is it possible that two ScoutCast LA episodes are happening within a week? I know. Crazy, right? Uh, but Insane. there is going to be an email coming out in the next uh, couple days and about uh, proposed fee increases. And so we decided that we were going to take a moment to explain everything so that in case there was anything you didn't understand, you, we would be here with the information. So without uh, further introduction, here is my, my co-host, Jonathan, or he's over. <laughs> thank you, Curtis. I, yeah, no, I did want to, uh, th thank you for the introduction. And, uh, you know, as uh, this, this unfortunately is uh, uh, more of an announcement episode and less of one of our uh, uh, fun info packed shows, but we do have a lot of information to share and it's important information. And so I wanted to make sure to get it out there ahead of this announcement that's coming. Um, so as everybody knows, with the uh, advent of COVID and some of the restrictions that have been placed, uh, not only on ourselves and our personal lives and uh, our, our, our work lives, uh, but also on our scouting lives, um, that's had an impact on the overall uh, scouting organization. Uh, and, you know, just to delve right into the, the, the bulk of this here, um, currently the Western Los Angeles County Council of Boy Scouts of America is facing a projected $2 million budget deficit for the year 2020. And there's a few factors that contribute to that projection. Um, obviously, the lack of summer camps this year, um, while we have a great program, Tri-Camp that's being offered right now, incredible program, um, virtual online can be attended from home. Uh, you get a lot of advancement done, a very worthwhile program, but it does not make up for the fact that our camps will be closed this summer. And that accounts for probably about $1.2 million of our revenue that we rely on. The, 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 the camps that we were offering this year really are, are designed just to, uh, to keep the programs going. Uh, right. And they're, they're really paying for themselves. Where Break even. Usually the, our camps, whether it be our Cub Scout Day camps or our, our Boy Scout camps, all of that are, are big fundraisers for the council. Yeah. And it's where we get a lot of our revenue generally. Yeah. It is. And, and in addition to that, uh, um, there are fixed costs associated with keeping the organization open, um, including uh, renting our buildings and uh, our staff and everything else that uh, we unfortunately still have to pay even if we aren't using the buildings or facilities that we're paying rent on. And so that also accounts for another about $800,000 of, uh, of, of, of money that's outgoing. Um, so that, that's, that's important to note as well. Uh, usually we have several large galas and fundraising events um, that occur throughout the year that help bring in additional revenue uh, from donors. And due to the uh, virus, we haven't been able to host those events. And that's resulted in probably about another $200,000 uh, that we will not be uh, bringing in uh, this year. Um, and so, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, all of this has led up to the fact that some difficult decisions have had to be made at, at the council level, and uh, we've had to uh, cut some staff and uh, do some salary reductions uh, to try and offset some of this uh, uh, short, shortfall, this budget deficit that we have. And uh, that means that we were able to uh, get about half a million dollars uh, uh, off, the, off the books uh, with those changes. But of course, those changes are impactful to everybody who relies on the council for services and support. Um, so the bottom line is that we're, uh, you know, I, I get, and, and of course, there's one other factor is that uh, the, there's currently the bankruptcy that National has filed, um, and the fact that our local council will probably have to contribute into uh, some of that, those fees as well. Um, so that's an additional negative impact to our bottom line. So all, all of that said, it's it's a very challenging time, and uh, as a result of that. Um, we've had to make some difficult decisions into uh, what the fee structure is going to look like for the 2021 uh, scouting year. So when we re-register re this fall, um, there's going to be a, a fee increase. Um, so just to get the numbers out there uh, uh, right away, um, if you're a, a, a re rejoining scout in the fall, you're already a registered uh, BSA scout, um, whether it's a Cub venturing, uh, uh, B Scouts BSA, um, Sea Scouts, uh, it'll be a $126 annual fee. Uh, that includes $66 in national dues and $60 uh, for our local dues. And I should mention as well that one of the, th one of the things impacting this is that as a result of uh, some of the um, things I mentioned before, our insurance rates are also going up. And so we're having to offset that as well. So the, the new annual fee for a scout rechartering in uh, 2021 in the fall is going to be $126 for the year. 
Um, another thing we're introducing is that new scouts who sign up for the very first time, so this does not apply to anybody who's already a scout, who's already registered, uh, they're, they're, this will not apply to them. But if you're a brand new scout coming into the program for the very first time, there will be a new $25 one-time uh, joining fee. Um, so that would mean that if you were a brand new scout who was joining in uh, the fall and you've never been a scout before, uh, then you'd be looking to pay $151 to join. So for scouts rechartering for 2021, that $126 annual fee, that works out to $10.50 a month. And when you think about all the program that we provide and everything you get as a scout, um, you know, I'd, I'd say it's, what's that, a couple of lattes. It's not a, not a huge cost and uh, well worth it. In my How opinion. can we always use lattes as the, you know, the, it's like there's an exchange rate of lattes and that's what everyone always uses. It's the 21st century kind of like, you know. Middle ground of it's, like it's, I've never I've never baseline, gone into a market baseline. and be like I'll trade you six lattes for that. Oh, I think of that every time. Like I went I went shopping earlier this week and I looked at my bill after I was done getting my groceries for the week and I said, oh my gosh, that's like thirty lattes. That's like that, and that's a that's a lot of lattes. That's a lot of lattes. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, ten dollars fifty cents a month for the great program that we provide is, I think, definitely worth it. And again, you know, this is really important for us to get through this period and to keep scouting available and out there and a viable resource for all of our youth and communities. Um, you know, obviously that's, that's the end goal here and we really need your support. Um, I guess, so that, that's the announcement. We have a couple of links that we'll be sharing with the podcast here. Um, you can go to uh, bsa-la.org slash W-L-A-C-C dash fees and uh, get all this information there. Um, and we have some additional links that we're providing that kind of break out how this works if you're uh, if you're doing a, um, a, a, you know part partway through the year rechartering you are prorating things we have all that worked out for you in spreadsheets. Um, oh, and one other thing to mention is that if you are in need of support or assistance um, in uh, in paying these fees, obviously the goal is to have your your child in scouting. And if there's uh, anything we can do to help with that, please do reach out to your local. Uh, district uh, executive or council representative and let them know that you need assistance and I, we'll do whatever we can to help support that. And now also, do, uh, do we know like how much uh, over last year is this fee increase? Because it, ah, it sounds like question. it's a lot, but it's not really that much, is it? it, it it's not really. Uh, so it's a, uh, it's a $43 increase over last year. That's not a lot of lattes. No, it's not a lot. Um, yeah, it's not a lot of lattes. It's not a lot of, and when you break it down by the month, right? It's it's it's, it's you know less than ten bucks. So it's not it's not a huge increase. Uh, you know, it's or less than five bucks. It's not a huge increase. It's it's really just a matter of uh, uh, you know these things had to be do, done, and and obviously we've done everything we can to reduce them as much as possible. Um, and I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that you know there are other ways that we can help. If uh, you know, I guess this is a, a moment to make a plea out there for anybody who has it in their hearts, uh, has the ability, and is able to give. Now is the time to do so. Uh, please do reach out to your local uh, district uh, committee or your uh, district executive and let them know if you're willing to contribute because we could really use some additional uh, uh, income at this point in time, this very, very difficult time for uh, scouting. But also, like Jonathan said, if, um, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of parents uh, have been furloughed themselves or may find themselves out of work, if you are in that situation and uh, it's coming down between uh, having your, your child your latte. And, and paying your bills, let the office know. I mean, I would say yeah. let us know, but Jonathan and I, we don't, you know, we're volunteers just like, uh, you know, all the leaders in, in your unit. Let the council know, let your district executive know. And if you don't know who that is, then uh, contact your, the leadership of your unit and just say, hey, I, I need to be in contact. Well, there, with there are phone numbers on the uh, links that we'll provide. If you need to get yeah. in touch with the council, you can reach out to those phone numbers. Um, there are emails there as well that you can, uh, you can send to. Uh, like I said, even though, we, even though there were some painful and, and uh, unfortunate, unfortunate reductions and stuff, and by the way, the intention is fully to bring those people back when, as soon as we can resume businesses as, as usual. Um, you know, but it, unfortunately, due to that reduction, um, you know, we are still – continuing to try to provide the level of service everybody expects to provide. Everybody's very committed. I've seen no change at all in my support from council. Um, the, these layoffs have already occurred um, and I'm, I'm still getting the same support that I always uh, receive from my uh, local district executives and uh, above. So the, the staff is there, they're there to help. And yeah, definitely do. If, you, if this is a hardship for you, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and that's really all we have as an announcement tonight. That's a, a short uh, Scoutcast LA episode. It is. Short and to so, the point. 
but you'll be getting an email in the next uh, day or so. Maybe even by the time you read this or see this, you'll have already received it. Yep. And it will have all the, the links and the phone numbers and, and all the information that we've shared with you tonight. So again, I do appreciate you tuning in to listen to this very special edition of Scout Cast LA. Um, I apologize that the news isn't on the brighter side, but it is important news. And I think it's important that we share it as quickly as possible and uh, as clearly as possible. And if you have any questions at all, we'll have the links provided attached to this podcast. So thank you very much for listening. And uh, this will end our broadcast for the evening. Good night, everybody. Night.